Yo, what's up everybody? How you doing? This is Lucky in the house representing Chimera House. Yeah. Yo, check it out. I'm the number one Barikwa talk show host in town. And we got some of my peeps back there and they want to talk to you all about what's really going on because frankly, you don't know what's going on. So check it out. Yeah, let's hear it. How's everybody feeling? Feeling good. Great. Yeah. Yo, let's start off with my boy. He's howling like the dog in the heat, like he is. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. Bones, my man, Praxita. Give me some, my man. What's, What's up, man? Huh? Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yo, tell the world, man. The world don't know stuff about us. Tell them about the what's world, going on. Man. Your world, man. The world. There's two worlds. Talking about two worlds. My world, our world, and then there's the other world. Boom, 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 boom. They call me Min Man. Bang, bang. Like Superman. Representing the Vietnamese era. Everybody get up and say, Jamera! Jamera! How you doing, girl? You know you're so sexy, man. I think one day you and we should get together. Girl, I'll get lucky. Honest, I think we should. I mean, you just. Lucky, lucky. drop it down. Oh, right, 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 right. Wow, look at that guy! Oh, 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 damn! Oh, 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 man. Big America would really be beautiful if it wasn't for the people People only want to take you for a ride Why do the saints want to crucify everything that's holy? Do you listen to the hate? Do you listen to their pride? Some people only want to waste your time Telling you you'll never get far But when you're lost in the mystery of Highway 40 Tell the cops you're following a star You're only gonna draw the suspicion For them freedom is a guy that drives the hearse And their rule book is never in remission When they bless you, it's just another curse Some people only want to waste your time Tell the saints you're following a star They don't know what love is They don't know what love is Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, I'd like to welcome our new resident to the family. Roy, I'm looking forward to working with you, and I hope we can make a real difference in your life. Thank you, family. Thank you, Dee. All right, listen up. Now that we're on summer break, we have lots of work to do to get the house back in shape. Remember, this is your home, so give it the love and attention it deserves. Any questions about chores? Then let's get to it. Monica and Teresa can adjourn. Thank you, family. Thank, Thank you, Carol. Checking on chores. It's no good. Do it over. What are you talking about? It's not good enough. Daryl likes things to sparkle. Yeah, well, things are sparkling. That ain't acceptable, man. Nobody can see under there. I can. So who are you? I'm the DM. 
Yo, discipline monitor, that means you obey my reasonable requests or I can give you consequences. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, huh? Disrespecting peer authority. Failure to follow staff direction. Provoking attitude. Foul language. You get the idea? That's fucked up. That's life. Get back to work. What are you doing out here? I just needed some space. You didn't ask permission. I need permission to sit in the backyard? Until you know our system, you'd better ask permission for everything. And never go outside without D or me knowing where you are. Otherwise, it's an AWOL contract and threatens your placement. Do you understand? Look, I just needed some- Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Place. What happened? Daryl, he's a fucking asshole. He treats me like a two-year-old. He isn't the power tripping, all right? But what do you expect, man? The guy was not for ten fucking years. Yeah, well, I'm not one of his stupid soldiers. Well, you're gonna have to get used to it. I mean, he's not such a bad guy once you get to know him. I don't want to get to know him. I just want to get the fuck out of here. Don't think like that, man. It's gonna make time go much slower. And what's his trip anyway? Well, you see, I heard that he was a real screw-up till he joined the army. Then he learned all about the rules, discipline, shit like that. You know, got his act together. I guess he thinks he's gonna work for us too. So he wants to save our souls. <laughs> hey, you know, it could be a lot worse. You know, at least the guy's heart's in the right place. Failure to follow staff directions? Throwing an object and having a negative attitude? What's up, Keisha? What happened? I got some bad news about my son. He all right? Well, my sister gonna move to Texas and she taking Ricky with her. I'm not gonna see my baby for a long time. I'm sorry. Look, um, Keisha, what's gonna be your retribution? I don't care. Dishes, hallways, windows, whatever. Do we agree? Yeah. It's cool. Roy. Non-compliance of structure, failure to complete chores, disrespecting peer authority. You know how the system works? I told them all about it. You gotta choose your own punishment, man. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. Ain't no fighting the bookings. Just choose your chores. But I didn't do anything wrong. Are you refusing to abide by family rules? I'm refusing to say I'm guilty when I'm not. You wouldn't be here unless you were guilty. That's not what this is about. Either you're a member of this family, or you're not. It's a joke. Do you want to go back to the hall? Oh, so that's my choice? Roll over and kiss your ass or go back to the hall? Go to your room, Roy. Go. Take some time, cool down. Come in. Close the door. Oh, I can't. It's against the rules. 
But I have permission to be here. I'm supposed to represent you at your initiation. What? They're gonna have an initiation to see if you're appropriate for this house, and I volunteered to be your support. See, um, what happens is they have this big dinner, and while everyone eats, they ask you a bunch of questions. It's kind of like a trial, you know, to see if you'll fit into our family. We call it the initiation. Yeah, and what if I don't want to do it? Well, you don't have a choice. Well, what happens? And then you won't be able to stay. There's a party over here, there's a party over there, there's a party up from here, and it skirts everywhere. Look at that girl in that tin skirt. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to barbecue, all right? This is what separates the men from the boys. <laughs> what you talking about? I've had all kind of picnics at the house, girl. I didn't flip major meat. <laughs> he said major meat, you know that? <laughs> I am not talking about a picnic, kid. Eh? I'm talking about a barbecue. I'll tell you what, why don't you let some young blood in there and show you how to really barbecue? Hey, look, lucky it, right? it is not your time yet. Step away, let a real man show you how it's done. Oh, Thank you, you very real much. Man, right? What's with the real man? Huh? We know you there the man, Daryl. Why you gotta <laughs> throw that at him? There you go. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, God. Straight, man. Oh, ash on a bun. Yum, yum. It's mesquite. <laughs> right. Mosquito burger. Uh, I'm not dealing with E. coli. There you go. See? Hey, Laura, come here, Laura. Ladies first. Thanks. Good evening, family. Before we get started, I'd like to say a few words about the initiation. I want you all to remember what it was like when you went through it. You were new. You didn't know anybody, and suddenly you were put in a situation where you had to answer a lot of tough questions about yourselves. It took a lot of courage, so let's keep that in mind. I got a question for you. Okay, here's the situation. Family day happens once a month around here. As usual, my grandmother's the first to arrive, like she does every other time. <laughs> She checks to make sure I'm not around, then she grabs whoever first to walk by. Let's say it's your break time, and you're rushing, trying to get out of the kitchen, away from all the work. But when you see her, she won't let you go. Here's a challenge, Roy. This is what I want to know. Would you give up your break time, help her do what she wants? Or would you leave for a chance you got? I don't get it. What does she want me to do? <laughs> She's my grandmother, Roy. If she wants your help, isn't that enough? I don't know. She sounds pretty weird to me. Damn. Ooh. It's called respect, Roy. You ever heard of that? What if it was your family and I disrespected them? Would that make a difference? Let's just leave them out of it, okay? No. It's an important question. I want you to answer it. Well, I don't think my family's any of your business. I think they are. Isn't he supposed to answer our questions? Talking about our families is part of the program, Roy. It's not easy, but you need to do it. Come on, just tell them what they want to hear. This is bullshit. I, I'm not gonna, I don't want to play anymore. Please, Roy. Ever heard the term image breaking, Roy? It's what they do in military boot camps. Breaking down the recruit's old civilian image and replacing it with a soldier. We do things a little differently around here, but uh, it's basically the same idea. Son, you have to face up to who you are before we can change what doesn't work. Are you ready for a real challenge, Roy? Can I get a couple of volunteers to get the mirror? Oh, <laughs> me, me. Here. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, man. Please stand facing the mirror. Straight in front, Roy. All right. Look at that person in the mirror. Can you tell us who he is? He's Roy. I can't hear you. He's Roy. Describe Roy to us. He's got brown hair, blue eyes, white skin, some pimples. Yeah, that's good. That's who he is on the outside now. Tell us who he is on the inside. I don't know what you mean. Look at him, Roy. You described his outer features, now describe his inner ones. Look into his eyes and tell us what you see. Nervous. I can't hear you. Nervous. What else? 
I, I don't know. You need some help? Can anyone help Roy? He's scared. Well, if you agree with her, then tell him. You're scared? Anything else? He's angry. You're angry. I can't hear you. He's angry. He be looking suspicious to me. He's suspicious? He's courageous. He's courageous. He's just a wild and crazy guy. <laughs> He's a wild and crazy guy. All right. Good. Now that's what we expect from you while you live in this house. Straight up honesty, even if it's hard. You got a minute? Yeah. Uh, I, I wanted to tell you something. You know the real reason I'm staying? It's because of you. They're going to AA. The next thing I remember, I'm lying in a pool of blood, mine, in the back of an ambulance. Blood is pouring in my eyes and my mouth. I remember spitting up so much blood, they keep telling me to knock it off. When I was sewn up and semi out of shock, I started screaming. The pain from having your face bashed and kicked in is brutal. And the morphine didn't help. Like any drug, it wears off. I got up, I went into the bathroom. In the mirror, was some monster that looked like it came from a bad slasher flick. And that was the last day I drank. The DTs, the shakes, the itching, all that other shit's another story. But I'm telling you, it's such a tough gamble to drink and do drugs. You always lose. Now that's all I have to say. So I wanna hear from you. What's your drug of choice? I used crack a couple times. I liked it. Ecstasy. Speed. Yeah, speed. <laughs> Marijuana's cool. Sometimes I drink. LSD. All of them, man. I like them all. <laughs> <laughs> you. I like the bud because it makes you laugh. You know, it makes you happy and relaxed, and, and it doesn't turn you into an addict or have bad side effects like those other drugs. Yo, Steve, man, that's not true. It makes me feel stupid and tired. You are stupid and tired. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you use LSD? Because acid's the only drug that's not an escape. It makes you see things in a new way without all the BS. That expands your mind. You mean it makes you crazy? That's why people be jumping out of windows thinking they can fly and shit like Jordan. They be hella weird. <laughs> all right, let's talk about why people stopped using. Why did you quit? I quit for my baby. You? Because I'm in here. And if we get caught, Daryl will send us to the hall. You still want to use after all that's happened? Haven't you learned anything from this program? Yeah, I learned from my mistake. Next time I won't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, people. Come on, don't you care? Don't you care about being locked up? Don't you care about the consequences? I'll tell you what I care about. I was stuck in fucking here and all the drugs is out there.
with a chest strap. My left nut was unrecognizable as a nut. Don't piss like that, because it'll fucking kill you. Dude, I got something I want to tell you. What? Let's talk in my room. I got inspired listening to everyone in AA. I think I know how to get some acid into the house. How? Right there. <laughs> no, no, I mean it. It's a carrier. And it's ready to fly to my house. And I could have my brother tie some blotter paper to its leg and then it'll fly back here. Daryl's not gonna search a pigeon. Wait, are you serious? Oh yeah. Steve, you're a fucking genius. Let's do it. It'll take a few days to set it up. I have to call my brother first. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, what about? I want to spend some time with Laura. Alone. And I wanted to know if you could help me out. Anything worth keeping in that? Oh, are you gonna have sex with her? I don't know. Maybe. That is breaking a cardinal rule. You just have no idea, do you? Daryl catches you and you're gone. No questions asked. Well, that's why I was asking you. I was hoping you could advise me on the when and where it's safest, that sort of thing. If I help you with this, if, you'll owe me. Because that's the way we do things around here. All favors must be returned, simple as that. We have an understanding? Do we? Absolutely. Keep it going, because I know you're having a great time out there. And push it, and push it, and kick those feet. Feel the sweat, feel the burn, feel those calories, just leaving that body. There you go. Yes, keep going, keep going. Single, single, double, double. Single, single, double, double. Wonderful. Doing a great job out there. Oh, come now on now. Get into it, my God. My old mother looks better than you, Pete. Come on, Daryl. This is stupid. And I want to see you sweat. You're a pervert. Come on, Praxedis. Come on. Pick it up. Show some guts. To the right. To the right. Now double. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Uh-uh. 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 What you got, man? Show me something. Show me something, baby. So I'm losing it. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. I like you. No, tell me. Ah, shit! Easy shot, baby. Told you, man. You're gonna beat me this time. Whatever, luck. You still suck. Yeah. Come on, make it then. Let's see, what you got? Here we go. I bet you won't make it then. I bet you won't make it then. Huh? You, uh, seen Royal Lore? Nope. I think Roy's in the bathroom. I haven't seen Lore.
Come on, boy, we gotta go. Hold on a minute. We're gonna get caught if we don't go now. Don't worry. Lucky will warn us if there's a problem. Daryl! Just the man I wanted to see. I want to talk to you about something, Daryl. I mean, you're looking kind of stressed out to me, you know? I mean, do you have some troubles you want to talk about with me? You look a little messed up, man, you know what I'm saying? Mess. No, I mean, I mean, you look really deficient. And Daryl, these clothes, huh? Damn! No wonder you feel blue. Take a look at Bones over there, huh? Daryl, look at him, huh? Daryl, please, take a look at him, huh? Now look. There's a man who takes pride in his image, huh? Bones, get over here! Bones, move your ass on, get over here, huh? Look at him, look how cool he is when he struts over here knowing he's top dog, huh? There's no telling how far this homie's gonna make it in the world, huh? But, you know, let me help you with something here, okay? Watch. Ooh, how's that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real him, huh? That's the real you, man, huh? You go, boy, huh? <laughs> Daryl! I just remember Roy said that he wasn't feeling well. He went to his room. Hi, Daryl. What's going on here, Roy? I was, um, I was, I was hot, and I wanted to change my clothes. I, I think I have a, a fever. I'm not feeling too well. I'm not going to warn you again. You need permission to leave group activities. And if you're feeling sick, let D and myself know. We'll get you some meds. Either way, you're on room restriction for the rest of the day. Shit, man. And what the hell are you thinking of, huh? You can't be taking so much time. I'm sorry. <sighs> I saved your ass. Remember that, okay? You owe me. You owe me, remember. these shits after I graduate. I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking do it. <sighs> All right, next order of business. I'm going to give Roy a chance to show his commitment to our program. I'm assigning him to be DM while Kevin's away on pass. I want all of you and I do mean all of you, to give him the support he needs to do a good job. Let's go. All right. So let's do our chores so we can get out and enjoy the holiday. Happy Fourth of July, family. Happy Fourth of July, Daryl. Thank you. They're all yours. Um, Teresa, scrub the sink. Uh, Monica, windows. Uh, Praxitis, bathrooms. 
Min, clean up the lounge. Uh, Lucky, mop the kitchen floor. And Steve, sweep the floors. You sure you got that right, Roy? I don't do bathrooms. Twist my ankle yesterday. Can't clean the lounge. Monica and I always work together, Roy. I don't do kitchens, hallways, or floors either. I'm strictly now doorman, okay? It's not fair you make me do windows. I'm too small. All right, house meeting's over. Let's get to work. Hey, Roy. Don't take your job too serious, okay? You don't know how things work here yet. Min, what the hell are you doing? What? Why aren't you doing your chores? I told you, man, I twisted my ankle. Did you clear it with Daryl? Nah, man, you got a DM, I'm telling you. I'm giving you consequences. I don't think so. I thought you'd be missing your masterpiece. Give that to me! Where'd you get that? Finest keeper. You better give that to me, man. I was thinking, Daryl might like to see it. What do you want for it? Do my chores for a week. Fine, now give it to me. I'm gonna keep it, but I promise not to show Daryl. If you do, I will beat the shit out of you. Get out of my room, asshole! Attention, everybody. The holiday excursion leaves in a few minutes. Bring all your stuff and meet me in the lounge. Thank you. You know, Monica, that color looks beautiful. I don't What is a pig? 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 What is a pig
My stuff is good, Lucky! You want some? I think the chips have given me food poisoning, but it's kind of a neat feeling. I could really go for a sandwich. That'll do. I can go for two fine senoritas, too. Yeah, well, what can I do now, huh? Dude! You didn't see me, man. You didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. What's this? Uh-oh. Got a little secret romance coming here? What? What do you think? <laughs> Go, Roy. So when are you supposed to graduate? In a few weeks, I think. Really? That soon? Yeah, well, I've been here over 10 months. You gonna live at home? I hope not. How come? Because of your dad? No, my stepdad. You know, when I was little, my dad used to take me to this, this little cabin in the Sierras. And we'd have to hike a few miles from the road to get to it. But there was never anybody else around. I mean, it was, it was incredible. I mean, there was a stream and, and trees and lots of deer. And we would just stay there for days. You know, fish or just hang out. You know, sometimes when things get really bad, I think about going there again. It makes me feel better just thinking about it. I wish I had a place like that. You can share mine with me if you want. So I guess I won't be seeing much of you for a while, Lucky. Why's that, baby? You got another man? You never quit, baby. <laughs> you know, I am proud of you, though, for starting this new job tomorrow. I just hope you stick with it long enough to learn something. Yeah. Yeah, I like working on cars. I got a lot of experience from stealing them. <laughs> Lucky, this could be your big break. Don't go out there and blow it. No, not me. I know a good thing when I see it. I hope so. Lucky, mm -hmm. would you run over there and tell Roy and Laura to turn it around? They've gone way too far. Beautiful, huh? Yo, fool! Hey, you! Hey! Yo! Hey, what's up? So don't you ever touch her. Come on, hit oh, me, shit. asshole. Oh. Fight, fight. Stop it, guys. Stop it. Come on, hit it. me, coward. Just hit me. He's thinking, man. Come on. Stop it, guys. Come on. Come on. Stop scared? it. Huh? What are you scared? All right. Are you scared? Enough. Huh? What are you scared? Take some space. Step back. Come on, hit me, Get coward. Get in the van, Roy. Uh, 
Did you hear what I said? Get in the van. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Better go, you asshole. Man, Better go. On, go ahead. You have some explaining to do, Roy. I need to know if you and Laura are having a relationship, and I want you to tell me the truth. What do you mean? We talk sometimes. Look, nothing's going on. Then how do you explain this? It's a drawing. It's just a fantasy. You, know, you are really pushing my buttons. This ain't a game we're playing here, boy. Either you're working our program and following our rules, or there's no point in you being here. And if I catch you anywhere near Laura in the next few days, you'll be back in the hall so fast and make your head spin. Try me. And I'm confiscating these. You are moving strict until further notice. Come to the staff office. Laura, to the staff office. Come in. You want to see me? We have some good news for you, Laura. Daryl and I have picked a date for your graduation. When? This coming Sunday. In three days? We've talked to your dad. He's all for it. Congratulations, Laura. I don't think I'm ready. You don't want to graduate? No, I'm not ready yet. I just want to stay a few more months. I know you're scared, Laura. But you've been at Chimera House for 10 months now. It's time to move on with your life. I'm not ready. Laura, you're just anxious. Everyone gets nervous when there's big changes in their life. Have a seat, Laura. All right, I'm going to try something to get you to relax. All right? Just watch the chain and listen to my voice. Daryl, stop. You're thinking about how nice it will be when you graduate, how everything will be OK. What are you doing to me? Stop. Laura, you will graduate. And everything will be just fine. And you can't make me go. I am not going back there. I'm not going to go. Hey, man, don't even sweat it, all right? As soon as I go, Dee's gonna walk up in here and she's gonna have a serious talk about you and your attitude. Then she's gonna cut you some kind of deal. You're gonna be off restriction, man, before I even get to work. But just don't forget, Dee's the shrink, all right? So, you know, talk to her about your feelings and shit like that. You're gonna get off light. I'm running a late. I gotta go, so I'll talk to you later, all right? Peace. Have fun in the real world. Lucky, welcome to Dean. Say, I appreciate it, man. I really do. Hey, guys, what's going on, huh? Hey, I'm Lucky. Hey, right, good hey man. What's going on, man? Yeah. Hey, Lucky. Hey. Lucky. Hmm? Tires. You off restriction? Yeah. Well, everything is ready to go. You talk to your brother? That's affirmative. The product is waiting for pickup. Let's do it now. All right. Take it easy. OK, there we go. Here, turn him over so I can get his leg there. There you go. Come here. Come here. All right. Looks good. Knock huh? that out of the here. Yeah, there you go. Let me okay, get him. Let me get him. All right, you ready? All right, good luck. You know what to do. Good luck, come on. Give it a kiss. For luck. You want me to kiss the bird? Yeah. Come on. All right, then.
Go, baby, go. You haven't done the toilets. Well, I couldn't find the brush. You still gotta do it. I'll do it when I find the brush. I'm gonna have to write you up. I'm not gonna clean shit with my hand. Why not? Just so as you get it done. Then what the hell's your problem? Just because I'm white, I shouldn't live here? Color ain't got nothing to do with this. It's who you are underneath. Man, you don't know shit about me. I know enough to hear how you've been disrespecting men. From the first day I saw you, man, I knew you wasn't gonna be a family man. You don't care how we gotta watch each other's backs in here, but that's the way it's gotta be. If you wanna make things right, you need to apologize for what happened. And you're out of your fucking mind. I'm out mind. of my fucking mind. You're getting into your bullshit, Roy boy. But I promise to make your life hell until you say you saw. Did you hear the bad news? What? They're graduating me in three days and I have to go home Sunday. And I think they're trying to get us apart. I don't want to go. If you go, I'm not going to stay. What should we do? Let's get the fuck out of here. I mean, run away. Why not? If we run out, we'll get caught. Well, then let's go tonight. No, are you sure you want to do that? A absolutely. I'm sick of this place. Okay, tomorrow night, okay? Okay, so we have time to think about it. Please don't change your mind. Hello, Daryl. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, good, good. On, good. All right, oh, oh back ah. away. Let's, let's see your hands. Let's go. Come on, Daryl. Let's see him. Thank you. Yeah, OK. Hey. How was your day at work? It was dirty. It was good. cool, right? Good, 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 good. OK, the UA with you. Let's go. Time for you to go, Lucky. Have fun, everybody. Uh, yeah. 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 Grease monkey. Yeah. Yeah. All right, family, here's the plan. The front and backyards both need extensive work. So that means everyone's doing outside chores today. Now, I know it's hot, but we're supplying sodas to ease the pain. All right, now your chores are on this list. Everyone gets a copy on the way out. Thank you, family. Thank you, Daryl. You're welcome. Uh, you know you better pick that back up. Hey, yo, Keith. Any sign of the pigeon? Nothing. You think there's a problem? No, nah, we just have to wait. I got maniac tendencies. I'm manic depressive, but it's a fuck I can't call it. I'm just an alcoholic. I've been through that dirt and sack. Seen the other side of the tracks. Well, the dad, if you ain't no fist money in the making, no waiting, cause Mook is always chasing. We know where to run. So get ready to the clinch your damn show and the blood blast. I'm doing a big explosives for the crooked pissy police that try to apprehend me. The back of the U N L B street, underground rebels want high power to chill metal. After it gets harder, just slaughter, build an empire like the Carter. So watch out for the creature feature in my town. Way past me, no got niggas with Nina's that might run the sea with a brown.
Laura. Over here. Where are you? Here. We still on for tonight? Yep. 12 o'clock, okay? Midnight. I'll knock on your window. Laura. Yeah? Will you tell me why you're really here? What do you mean? I, I think you're hiding something. Um, you know, the pictures and... Well, Dee said there's a lot of stuff about you I don't know. What'd she say? I'd like you to tell me. Roy, it doesn't matter anymore. It's in the past. Well, then why can't you just tell me? I mean, because then I wonder and it just turns into a big deal. If I tell you, will you promise not to hold it against me? Of course. I used to cut myself. What? I used to cut myself. What do you mean? You, you like, tried to kill yourself? No. It's, it's like a disease. You cut yourself whenever you feel bad about things. It's a compulsion. It's how I used to punish myself for not being good enough. And that's why you're here? It's not like I was crazy or anything. It's just that I'd feel bad sometimes. So I'd take a razor and I'd cut between my toes or by my ears, wherever you can't see the scars, but where it bleeds a lot. And then everybody'd freak out. I got sent to a psych hospital a couple of times, but whenever I came home again, I started cutting. So they sent me here. And now you're okay? Yep. Are you? Of course. Dan Service. This is Dan. You did? Now you're stealing from me, huh? No, but I didn't steal anything fucking lie to me. All right, everyone to their rooms. Let's go. Then move it. Come on, let's go. Come on, family. What's up? Room restriction, Kevin. Let's go. What? Out of my what? face, Kevin. Let's move it. Uh-uh. Leave that here. Let's go. I want your attention, family. Dee and I are preparing Damn. a list of all the contraband we found in your rooms. Later, we'll meet with each of you to determine the bookings and LEs. In the meantime, we're on THS, Total House Safety, so you have the remainder of the day to organize your rooms and think about why we need rules to structure our lives and keep us safe. I suggest you also make use of this time by doing a personal inventory on why you're here and whether or not you're taking this program seriously. Because if you're not, we can certainly make some changes. It's over. Daryl found my fucking screwdriver. I got fired. I don't even graduate till I'm 18. Five fucking months. Well, why the hell did you steal it? Well, I gotta have a weapon, man. There's no, there's no peace without a weapon. I'm running tonight with Laura. If you want to come... Man, that's a stupid idea. 
Man, they're gonna catch you and you're gonna be sent right back to the hall. Hey, look, I'm tired of being treated like a fucking piece of shit around here. No matter what the fuck I do, I lose. Well, I'm not a fucking loser, and I'm not gonna wait around for them to turn me into one. And you really think you're gonna be able to hide out for two years, man? Two years? I don't have a choice. It's either run or curl up and die. I don't know, man. This is probably the best home I've ever had. I mean, I know Daryl's a pain in the ass most of the time, but it could be a lot worse. If that's the way you feel, then why do you want out? You know why? Because I've tried. You know, I've tried to adjust to this place. I can't. I'm a fucking warrior. I know that now. That's who I am. Well, do you even know where you're going? Roy does. There's a cabin in the mountains he knows about, so we'll stay there for a while. You meet in the wilderness? You know, I used to think I'd be scared leaving this place. Now I'm just excited, you know? Like, I'm waking up from a bad dream and I get a second chance. I can't wait to get out and start living again. You gotta be careful, Lori, girl. It ain't so easy being on the run. We'll be okay. And we like each other enough, you know? Things will work out. I wish it was that simple. Look, stop being so negative, Kiwi, okay? I have really good feelings about this. I don't want you to bring me down. <laughs> You sure you don't want to change your mind? You're the one that should be changing his mind. Have you even thought about what's gonna happen to Laura if she gets caught? What do you mean? He's gonna have to do her time all over again. You've only been here a few days, man. You don't have much to lose. She's got 10 months. Wake up! Wake up, Jamera House! We're out here waiting on you! Hello in there! Oh, shit! What the hell are you doing? I've had it with this shit. Motherfuckers always coming in here. I think we could get away with this. Are you crazy? Lucky, don't do this. I gotta do this, okay? Myself. Daryl never needs to know. Hello. Yeah, this is Daryl. Are you sure it's one of mine? What you doing? Turn it off. Damn, I want to sleep, man. Damn it, Lucky. How the hell am I supposed to leave with Daryl on alert? You really fucked things up for me. It was worth it, man. I got one of them real good. What the hell happened? <laughs> Yo, check this out. When I got outside, right, I heard the one voice yelling over by the vacant lot, right? So I crept along the side of the house, right, till I could see that there was three of them hanging over by the fence. And that punk-ass council garage, man. I'm a bitch. When I got real close, I heard them talking about getting back to their group home and stuff like that before staff found them out, a bunch of punks. That's when one of them started spray painting our fence. Right then, I knew it was time for these motherfuckers to feel some pain. I really only fucked one of them up though, man. Because the other two running off so fast, they was pissing in their pants. <laughs> Man, it was beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful. Oh, best fucking thing I've done in this place. Oh. It's probably because they're on the alert. You can't expect Roy to come if he think he gonna get busted. It's not that. I know it's not that. He's changed his mind. Laura, you can't know that. You can run tomorrow night. It's just not safe tonight. So stupid. I never should have told him about the cutting. He won't go now. He thinks I'm too weird and crazy. Just stop it, Laura. It's true. In two days, I'll be back with my fucked up stepdad, and nothing will have changed. Nothing ever changes.
I want a piece of it too. Hey, we fucked up. I'm gonna get all three of you. Hey, come here. You gonna do this shit, man? I want to see you in my office. Me? Now. Hey. You okay? Hey, Daryl was on the prowl last night. Can we make a new plan? Laura. Look, you would have come last night if you really wanted. What? I don't think you want to go with me anymore. That's not true. No, I'm not dumb, Roy. I mean, if I were you, I'd have second thoughts, too. Look, I'm not having second thoughts. I just, it's just that- Come on, Roy. I told you the truth about me. Just tell me the truth about you. I am telling you the truth. I need your help, man. One of those edge punks recognized me and got word back to Daryl. I'm gonna need an alibi. Like what? You tell them that I never left our room. Look, man, they don't have anything on you. It's just your word against theirs. What are you talking about? Man, there was three of them out there. You know that? Three of them. They're gonna try and charge me with assault on this. You gotta do this for me, man. I need you. I'm not gonna make any difference. Well, you know what? It's payback time, man. You remember? Man, you owe me this much. I just came by to say that Lucky couldn't have done what they said he did. We were talking till almost midnight. This isn't about Lucky, Roy. It's about you. We have all the evidence we need against Lucky. I know he's your roommate. You want to help out? It's commendable. I admire that. But it's too late. But you can help yourself, though. Tell the truth, and we'll make sure your P.O. hears about it. Continue lying, and I'll consider you lucky as accomplice, and you'll be having dinner in the hall. Your choice. I brought you some dinner. Forget it, Lucky. Daryl's sitting right outside. Fuck. Fuck. I'm so fucked, Laura. Fuck, I'm so fucking screwed. Can you help me out? Mm. I'm such a piece of shit. I'm such a piece of shit. <sighs> Listen to me. You gotta tell Roy, please. No matter what Daryl says, he's only bluffing. They don't got nothing on me. You gotta tell him he's gotta stick to his story no matter what, okay? Laura, will you do this for me? You gotta do this for me, please. Please. He's, he can't give into their bluff. I'll tell him. Because if he doesn't, I'm fucked. I am so, I'm fucking doomed. Will you pray with me? Lord, if you can hear me, please, please forgive me. I know I've pushed a lot of buttons and I'm truly sorry, but I would like just one more chance, please. So if you can somehow see it in your heart, Lord, get me out of here, please. Lord, get us all out of here. And Lord, please give Roy the strength he needs to stand up to Daryl and Dee. Don't let him back down or fall for their tricks. Just asking for one chance, Lord. Just, just one chance, please. And I promise. I promise. It's time for you to go, Laura. Good 
luck, Lucky. and go to your room. Now! Oh, damn! This is an emergency. We need the police. Girls, get away from there! Get away from the window! Anyway, let's go! Where are we going? Let's run while they're distracted! Wait a minute. What do you mean? You said you wanted to go. I do, but listen. Okay, tomorrow you're graduating. You'll be legal. Let's wait a couple days. I'll meet you at your dad's place and we'll go from there. Well, that's stupid. If you really want to do it, let's go now. It's better for you if we wait. No, that's not the point, Roy. We're not going to get another chance. Yes, we will, Laura, if we don't get caught up in all of this. Well, shit. Come on, it's now or never. Laura! Roy! Look, Laura, I promise in a couple of days. Roy, where's Laura at? I don't know what the fuck's going on with her. shit going on out there and it's making us all feel real bad but girl it ain't about us don't we promised to help each other out remember if the ghosts ever came back we said that we would be there for each other can we just talk about this for a minute girl it won't make any difference. Yeah, it will. It'll make a big difference if we don't give it up. No, not for me, it won't. Lori, girl, I care about you. You're the only one. That's not true. I just seen Roy outside, and he's real worried about you. I don't believe you. You're putting an awful lot of pressure on yourself. Give it some time. is isn't any time. Can I tell you what I do when I feel hopeless? I tell myself that for one day, I'm going to pretend to feel positive and hopeful. And that for one day, I'll pretend to be somebody who really expects something good to happen. What happens? Things get better. It's true. At least give it a try, Laura. Because, girl, if you cut yourself, 
they gonna send you away. And then you never gonna know. Are you fucking up? All right, it's over. Everybody to the rooms. Fuck now! Man. I should have fucking helped you out. Yo, Daryl, we're going to the hall? Let's go! Kevin! Come on! Kevin, just run! Kevin, just run! Let's go! I got him! Kevin! Let's go, it's fucking five all, man. Let's go, come on. Fucking go, man. Fucking leave me, I'm not fucking leaving you. Let's go, kid. Let's go, fuck. Puerto Rico, man. One, two, three. Oh. They're, 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 they're completely out of control. Are right, you ready? You ready? One, two, three. Oh, fuck. Thank you so much. You doing okay? I'm good. Did you tell Daryl anything? No. You weren't going to back down. Look, it doesn't matter anymore, okay? So let's just not talk about it. I need to know, man. It's important. Look, I don't know what I was going to do, okay? But I wasn't willing to go to the hall for you. That's too much to ask. He was only bluffing. He didn't have nothing on me. It doesn't matter anymore, Lucky. Can you believe it? You were gonna fall for his shit. And I risked my neck for you. Get yourself together. Let's go. What about him? He's all right. You're under arrest for assault. You have the right to remain silent. Seem kind of lonely around here, huh? Morning. Hi. Anyone want some juice? Well, here we are. Survivors from the night of hell. Is Lucky okay? He was pretty messed up. He didn't show that to the cops, though. So how are you? Okay, I guess. I'm supposed to graduate today. What time? I don't know. Probably whenever my stepdad feels like picking me up. Well, can I get your address and phone number? Because in a couple days, I'll be giving you a call. You still want to run? Well, that's the plan. You still want to go? I don't know. Things got pretty screwed up, didn't they? Listen, Laura. I don't think I'm ever going to graduate from this place. I mean, look what happened to all of them. Can we give it another chance? Anybody want some strawberry kiwi? some important news for you. There's going to be an investigation, and we're closing the house until it's over. What does that mean? Well, it means that Laura will graduate as scheduled, and Keisha will be moved to a group home in Texas. What about me? It means you're going back to the hall. That's not fair! You can't do that. I haven't broken any rules. Things don't always work out the way we want them to, Roy. Oh, I'm sorry, son. But we have Liars! Don't make it difficult.
Do you ever think a good heart will ever come in style? And when it does, then you can leave your self-imposed exile. Sometimes these tiny flaws can be fatal. Will you ever make room at your table? Truth is like a lead weight You can't hide behind your tears It draws you like an ocean It makes a joke of all your fears Better to be laughed with than to be laughed at Funny how many times my mother told me that wouldn't it be great if we could celebrate a miracle? Will you ever make room at your table? Will you ever make room at your table? Don't want to throw away people or special affairs. I don't want bells or whistles or your regrets I don't want clever conversation, just give me hope I don't want to hang at the end of your rope Don't turn your back on me and walk away there's gotta be something I can do to make you stay Yeah, I'm ready, I'm willing, I'm able Will you ever make room at your table? Will you ever make room at your table? Make room at your table